G'day! This is another of my older videos which had YouTube captions explaining what was happening but they've disappeared so I thought I'd do it again and upload it again the way that I do them these days. Here's the part. It's an M6 by one thread and a long rather thin piece out the end. Um, I was a bit worried about how that would go but we coped with it all right. Now there's the simulation. You see it just created that point at the beginning. Um, that's the only time that's going to be touched. Did that at quite a slow feed to get a reasonable finish. Then sort of pecked the rest of the material away. Went round the opposite way with the profile. And didn't actually touch that point again. Didn't want to take a risk of damaging the whole thing once it had all been cut away. So there's the thread happening be using a full form insert for that and there's the parting tool goes in chamfer and not parting off didn't want to uh, damage them so I just pull them off once they're uh, not parted off so to speak it's much easier to find them and no risk of them being damaged when the spindle starts it'll be two and a half thousand rpm with a 0.03 feed for the very point as you can see in the caption and then it'll go to 0.1 feed per rev for the removal of the bulk of the stock there's that point won't be going there again now just pecking off bits at a time leaving a little bit to be removed on the thin part Then we go backwards and you'll see the tool, the part deflecting and I actually changed the code to go from 0.95 to 0.83 to get that to come out parallel allowing for the deflection and it did come out parallel so I was quite pleased. Here's the full form insert. They actually cut the complete thread crest and root so when you actually measure over the thread you know you've got a good thread. Something like a 6mm thread I'd probably make that 5.95 and it will go into a test uh, thread gauge quite well. If, you, if I made it 6 it wouldn't go in it would just be too tight for the test gauge. There's parting insert, they're very sharp those inserts. Do a beautiful job. That's the smallest in the parting tool I've got, that goes to 16 diameter. And there you can see the part. And that's it photographed close up. And I thank you for watching.